Sports. I am still in Capcom Boulevard. This is my third day here and I uh, just wanted to show a little food along my hostel. I've been very uh, kind of lazy this past three days. This is only the second time I'm leaving a hostel in three days. So I've been just uh, chilling, working on a project. And uh, not much. I've been happening. So I'm going to Dubai Square, which is a little lower down, and I just thought before I get there, I'll make some shorter walking to videos along the way. And uh, let's give us a peep into Nepal. As you could see, very busy section here. There's so much going on in Nepal at any given point. I feel like just walking outside is uh, entertaining. <laughs> I'm going to ask a quick question. Okay. Hello, to me. Uh, which direction is the easiest one to Patna? 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 Yeah, Patna. Oh, Patna. Yeah. You have to go straight. This way. You can um, find a bus over there. I need to no. walk. It's okay. Oh, it's too far. Uh, I know. It's okay. okay. I walk a lot, so it's okay. fine. <laughs> straight. Right. And if I want to go to Dubai, it's this one, right? No, no. You have to go walk and walk also this way. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So, I got the information I wanted. And now, so 15 minutes earlier the rain came, but you know it's monsoon, it, it rains every day, every day, it rains all the time, every day. This is what you get. Colors of those sari, I guess in Nepal they call the same thing. Okay, the rain is coming again. Side detour here. I'm not sure what it's gonna take me. We'll find out. Oh, 
I'm sure it goes across, so that's, that's good. Oops. Try to keep your camera stable and avoiding the potholes is quite a task. Good me. Sorry, my friend. This way, see where that takes us. No idea. Oops, I don't know if that's going to connect. Does this, this take me to the. I can go out there? Okay. That's what you get when you just. Get off the main street and go in some little alley that you're not familiar with. You get lost, but only for a while. Huh? Oh boy. I feel like I'm on private property. Okay. Up. Up. There we go. We'll go for here. That worked out okay. I think. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Not a little alley. All right, folks. So I think I was trying to find my way to the shrine, but. This one seems interesting. Let's go for this one. Just check this out. I mean, is this Sari Avenue? Check this one. Oh. Really cool, huh? I think so. One of the things I've noticed about Kathmandu is that when you have a store such as this, the next 20 stores are all the same. You get one thing and everything next to it is pretty much the same thing. It's good for the shopper, I guess, so you can compare and contrast prices very closely, but just wonder how they make much of a profit if there are so many similar businesses uh, so close. So the train being poked in the eye by short people with umbrellas and uh, stabilizing your camera, handheld cell phone, and avoiding the there, uh, let me see if I can just touch that screen a bit. Avoiding the uh, potholes is quite a task. Hopefully, the phone doesn't fall. That would be a bad thing to get you up. So. We are in another part of town. That was so not the plan. But plan is boring. Let's go with the flow. Let's see now, where am I? 
So I think I recognize here. I think I was hearing that's two, two or three years ago, I think. Well, kids. So, no idea. Why am I? Why not give this begin? I guess I do, but. There is a taxi stand, pretty much the bad version of a taxi stand. Get a better shot from here, maybe. There we go. Yeah. Lots of bikes, but they're you know they're pretty good at avoiding humans. I mean they're pretty good at slowing down and let you get by. Unlike I think Indonesia and Vietnam and um, Iran, they are pretty good at respecting your your passage of way for the. I, I, my brain is not working for the pedestrians. I think there's another temple over there, if I choose to win the video there, I'm not sure what else I can do after that. So this is something I think very interesting, people carrying this heavy load on their back and neck. This is one of the major temples that was destroyed during the earthquake. I think that was two years ago and still, as you could see, not up and running. Lots of uh, scaffolding, all things in place, I suppose, and renovations. Okay, let's walk. So I'm basically taking pictures when the camera is for the being held still at the picture for you know a little longer than usual.
see people are paying their respects. Nepal is a Buddhist country. The head of bells. Yep. Oh, you ticket to enter? Inter, inter. How much is it? 1,000. Oh, Which country? Which country? Caribbean. Caribbean. It's yeah. 1,000 rupees. 10 dollars. I see. It's 10 dollars. Really 1,000. Right, right. I didn't walk with that. I wasn't yeah. aware I needed a ticket to enter. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so I think you have to kill the enter here. Um, 1,000 rupees is about 10 US dollars. Funny thing is I came here in the night, didn't walk there at the night, and uh, I was able to enter for free, but I don't have the pictures to show at night. Not sure, I'm sure there's a way around it, to be honest with you, and I'll find out the way around it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure there's a way around this. So. All right, folks, we'll end for now. I'll make the next video of the, uh, the square over there, if I can make it there. I'm not going to pay $10 to enter it because I don't have my uh, my wallet with me. All right, so. No, I'm sorry, thank you. <laughs> oh, she didn't want it? You didn't want it? No, I don't oh. oh my gosh, she looked more like a food player than I do. <laughs> you don't have money here. You don't have, same here. <laughs> All right, folks, so we will make a walk. Uh, I'm excited to get around the security guard. And I wish I could help my friend. Goodbye. Well, now he's playing for us. I get a little bit of that. Sounds pretty good. Uh, I don't even know how to play it, you know. <laughs> Alright, folks, ciao.